Hey everyone, uh, so this is going to be my guide on how to do the Dolo uh, Demonic Gorilla method uh, with a tank and a Iron Man, specifically. Um, I've only seen one other video on this, um, there may be more, but this is what worked for me. So here's my two setups, so I got my main over here. Uh, basically you should want max defense, uh, bring a suffering uh, imbued. Uh, Dense Bolt Work, Full Just Heat, Blood Fury, doesn't matter if it's Blood or Regular Fury, and then uh, your best cape. And then on the GIM, um, this is my setup. You really don't have to do four-way switches. I just, just feels clean to me. You can do as little as two-way switches or even one-way switches, uh, just whatever you prefer. Um, but we have the inventory space, so it doesn't matter. We can definitely bring four-way switches. Um, I also have a blowpipe. I was using this in the first place, but I want to test out crystal bow and just see how it works. So that's why I have that. But you can use crystal bow, blowpipe, just whatever you got. Uh, for the inventory setups, um, for the main, I have five super restores. This lasts quite a while. Uh, you're only praying magic. Uh, and then your royal sea pod and then the rest brews. The stamina pot is just a pre pot. You'll sip it and replace it with a brew. On the GIM, you have as many super combat ranging pots as you want. I feel like two is usually a good number before I need to rebank. Uh, and then four super stores is more than enough since we're only praying um, preserve. Uh, if you want to pray combat, or combat prayers, that's fine. Uh, but you will need more super stores or you'll have to bank more either one. I forgot to mention here uh, in the rune pouch, uh, you want to have alk runes, so na uh, natures and fires. And then also have law and death. Um, you can leave those out until you get them as drops, but these are what demonics drop, so I just have them in here. Okay, so let's get into the method. So uh, obviously, like I said, first thing you need to do is just go ahead and pre-pop the stam, place out of the brew, and then we can just roll seed pop back to the entrance. And then we just run our way there. While we're on our way, some notable plugins, if you can see the red lines on my screen, that is NPC aggression indicators. Yep, NPC aggression timer, sorry. NPC aggression timer. Um, I don't think I've changed any of the configurations. I added Demonic Grill in here, but it doesn't really seem to matter. Uh, getting it set up can be a little bit of a pain, but just follow the steps on the screen and it will eventually work. So NPC aggression timer is very important. Of course, uh, tile markers, but that is built into Runelite by default. Okay, so once we're here, I leave my uh, tank outside and I take my account that's gonna be getting the kills in. I just pray whatever, it doesn't matter. You're, but you, you'll probably get hit regardless, especially by the demonics up here. But what we do is we go over down to this corner, kind of in the Northeast. And uh, we have these tiles marked here and unfortunately that monkey's gonna get me. Now that I've managed to somehow get into a bit of a safe spot. So this corner is your main safe spot. Um, it's not perfect, but it's good for setting up the kill. Um, but I have these four tiles marked. This is the most important one right here. And again, we are in the like northeastern part of the cavern. If I can zoom out on my mini map, we came from down here and ran up to this corner. So these are the four tiles. Like I said, this is the most important one because you can get this monkey trapped here. Uh, they can't reach you. And um, that's how you usually use your tank over here to set it up. Um, these two back here are just kind of where you can set your this account where you're waiting um, You don't have to you know stand in the way, but we're basically waiting for aggro aggro to lose uh, or run out so that way we don't You know take any damage so it doesn't really matter where we stand But it's good to keep it out of the way so the demonics can melee our tank this final tile uh, It's mostly just whenever we have demonic gorillas over here uh, Our tank will be right about here and we can stand here for a blowpipe just so that way we can uh, stay out of the way for falling boulders. Otherwise, at this point, we just wait for another eight minutes and I'll see you then. One thing to note while waiting, uh, when we're in here with NPC aggression timers on, uh, we will wanna make sure we have mu as much of this room as possible open for our Iron Man here. So you can see the red lines, they stop right there. If we pass that, then our aggression will reset and we'll have to wait another 10 minutes. We have all the way to back there. Um, so you just want to make sure you have as much of this room as possible. But even if you have a small section of the room, just make sure you don't go past that and then you won't reset your aggro. All right, after the 10 minutes is up, uh, you'll want to hop worlds. Uh, I've already done that. Um, so as you can see, I hopped over one world. I'm still over on 354. 
But on the main, we're gonna stay on this world and go ahead and do the same thing. Just go ahead and get over here. We don't need to lose aggression. In fact, we wanna keep aggression, but ultimately we wanna go over here so that way we can try to hop worlds. And of course the same exact thing happened. It doesn't necessarily matter. Um, you can hop to the same world. It's just, it's a, I find it a little bit easier to, uh, to start the whole process. All right, so good example right here. We already got a monkey on us. Um, that looks like it wasn't oh it's maging that's fine but basically we can go into this corner that my gi am standing in step it out and now see how it's trapped it will always stay in that corner it can't attack you uh, until you actually step out one tile so we're going to go ahead and do that and then on the gi am we can go ahead and sip our combat pop create preserve and just start attacking and ultimately it's this simple um you know just Keep an eye on your health on this account. Switch on this account whenever it is necessary. Don't worry, you're gonna do super combat. And for those falling boulders, I do like to step out of the way because they do a lot of damage when you're healthy. And I don't like to stay low health because sometimes I'll forget to eat and then I'm dead. So yeah, it's just a bunch of this back and forth. You take all the damage on the, on the main, eat up when you need to, pray up when you need to. And uh, I also like to leave the food and prayer supply drops on the ground so I can pick them up on my main. All right, yeah, it's pretty much just simple. Uh, the setup's pretty much the same for the other side. I'll show that in just a moment though. So yeah, like that, there's three sharks on the ground. I'll just leave them on the ground uh, for my GM. I'll put them back in the little queue area. And then for my main, I'll drag them up. Now, it looks like there's only this one right here. I can go over here to pick some demonics and drag them over. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this guy. I think he's maging currently. So he's going to mage. Now it looks like he's ranging. And basically we just want to get him to melee so that he'll actually follow us. Uh, sometimes you won't need to do this, uh, but he was already aggroed to us before. So now that he's on us uh, with melee, we can kind of come down here. We basically want to drag him so that he's as close to this waterfall as possible. Preferably on these four tiles. You can mark them if you want. Uh, but then after that, we just step here. We can mark this one as well. And that's where our tank will sit. And then we'll just have to uh, melee with the tank. And then we can step back when we need to range. Yeah, ultimately, this method is very simple. It's a great way to save on supplies for your GIM and uh, waste a ton of brews on your main. All right, that's it. See ya.